Hey everyone, it's Ashita from Fearless Magazine and IshitaGupta.com, helping you build confidence into your business and your life. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about tending your garden. We're going to talk about growing your tomatoes and how to grow the best way to grow basil. And no, that's not what we're going to talk about. That's not intuitive for me at all. I um, do not cook. I do not grow the things. Um... We're talking about tending your garden of relationships and your network, the people around you. And I'm sure you've heard the phrase, you're the average of the top five people you spend the most time with. And guess what? It's true. It's absolutely 100% true. I took that very much to heart about five or six years ago and was pretty ruthless about who I started to include in my life and whom I removed. And I heard a wonderful lecture. Actually, I got this term from a woman named Suzanne DePass, who is the almost Barry Gordy, who founded Motown Records. She was his assistant for many years, and then she kind of ran Motown. <clears throat> Huge exec in entertainment and media and music. And she's lovely, and I heard her speak, and she really underscored this concept of tending your garden. And I want to just tell you the benefit of it for me for the last five or six years, especially as I've built my business and tried to gain some independence, is that, you know, we grew up with our family, we grew up with our friends, and we have these ways of identifying ourselves. That's how we shape our identity. But what you need to know is that in order to fulfill your potential and actually fulfill your dreams, your dream business, ultimately what you want, you cannot, 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 cannot afford to not look at whom you're spending time with, okay? That just means <clears throat> if there's negative people around you, if there's naysayers, if there's people who detract energy as opposed to give it to you, that's right, infuse you with it, you need to nix those people out of your life and not feel bad about it. I know I sound ruthless about it, and I'm only this way because I've seen the benefit of it for me. I've lost nothing from minimizing contact or, you know, mitigating my time with people who make me feel terrible. And sometimes it's not even intentional. It's just people who you don't vibe with. It's people who aren't in the trenches with you. You know, it's people who you literally just don't have time to spend with, perhaps. You need to be with people who inspire you, support you, encourage you, and love you. And sometimes those aren't always the same people. In fact, they're probably not. The people who love me, like my family and friends and provide emotional support, aren't the same people who understand my business you know, issues and support me in that way and can be there for me. Those are the people in the trenches with me. Those are other business owners, other bloggers. And... You must, must, must tend your garden in order for your flowers or your fruit or your tomatoes or your basil or what have you to grow. It just doesn't happen any other way. Because what you're doing is you're detracting energy if those other people are around from what you need to focus on, from the relationships that you need to cultivate, from you know the nutrients that you need to give yourself and you need to give others. Um, so I know I sound ruthless about it, but I want you to make a list. Make a list. I did. I actually made a list of family, friends, people, you know, readers whom I felt great about and whom I felt not so great about. And I slowly and slowly started, you know, minimizing contact and it really and truly made a difference. So make your list. Make your list. Check it twice and find out who is naughty or nice. Wow. Um, do it and see how you feel. Um, I have this exercise in the Confidence Manifesto, and it is no joke. It is absolutely no joke. The energy and the enthusiasm and the sense of self that you can get back from doing this exercise, okay? So try it out, test it out, and tell me how it goes for you. You know I love to hear from you. So email me, ishita at ishitagupta.com. Okay, try it. Hope it works. It will.